So look, bro. Um, first off, this video right here, not this video, but this genre of uh, video, Live PD. I ain't did one of these in probably like five or six months. I'm going to be real with you. If not five, it got to be four. If not four, probably three or probably. It's been a minute. And I did doing it 2021 for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So um, y'all know how like, bro, I'm telling you, these TV shows, they selling all their catalogs to Netflix, Hulu, and they getting copyrighted, bro. So y'all already know how I get down. We be up here doing too much. React it to the video, edit in the video, let the video render, then upload it to YouTube for the video to get blocked. Y'all don't know how disappointing that is, bro. That's like you going to work for two weeks straight, and then on that Friday when you're supposed to get paid, they say your check is blocked. You're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna be tripping. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I'm back with oh yeah, another thing, my Patreon. My Patreon account, my Patreon account. To my OGs over here that been on the channel for a minute, y'all know I got me a Patreon. It's just that I got banned for 60 days because I had uh <laughs> I had reacted to a uh a P Hub video, uh uh corn tub video, if you get what I'm you know what I'm saying? And they was like, bro, you can do whatever over here, but now you just do it too much. We ain't gonna delete those. But we gotta give you a sixty day, uh, a sixty day notice type or whatever the case. Anyway, I said that to say this. It's up now. My channel, my Patreon is back live. Y'all get over there, bro. Any videos I can't post on you, not any videos I can't post on YouTube because on my Patreon I don't make videos for YouTube and then put them on Patreon. But I'ma say this. If you ain't been over there, bro, then Patreon videos is another level. You can do anything you... The Patreon videos, my reaction videos, new vlogs over there is on another level. And if you're not older than uh, uh, 21, please don't go over there. The link is in the description. I'm being real with y'all. Y'all know I don't need the bread. I don't. So if you're under 18, don't subscribe to my... uh. Don't do it, bro. I don't care if you can't afford the $5. Don't do it. Because if I catch you in there or I see a comment and I click on your profile, well, I'm going to block you anyway. You know what I'm saying? That page is too it, it's too much, bro. I'm going to be real with y'all. But anyway, um, I'm not finna hold y'all no longer. This, that, that, uh, that live PD or dumbest criminals or whatever you want to, you want to call it. Okay, just so you know, you can't be in the park after dark. How old are you? <laughs> hey, look, what are them like? Is he talking to me or you? Because that. Oh, take it back. Hey, boy, tell me. Okay, just so you know, you can't be in the park after dark. How old are you? Confused. Confused number two. <laughs> 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 bro, this is not a math problem that uh that uh geometry well we ain't even gonna go with geometry. I'm a we gonna go with the time table because I be doing this sometime on the time table. Y'all know I ain't talking about like seven times four or twenty two times forty three. But once you get the three digits, leave me alone, bro. I don't know what. What's four hundred and seventy two times eight hundred and seventy six? That's one of these, for real. <laughs> he couldn't remember how old he was. And he couldn't he said, I'm he graduated. And she eating chicken, so bro. I'm not sure if he's giving me the yeah, that black dude is her boyfriend for sure, for sure. <laughs> Y'all know why. Good information or not. I was going to go drive around through the parking lot, smoke a cigarette, and go ahead and drop him back off before his old lady got out of work because we work together. Does your husband know you're out here? Oh, she's scandalous. I was going to drive around and smoke a cigarette with him while we up in the car. And then I was going to drop him off before his old lady got um, off of work because we work together. She the worst type, bro. Well, not to the dude, she the best type. But to the females, that's your worst nightmare right there. You know what I'm saying? Your worst nightmare is your dude having a female on the side. And the side female is cool with y'all having the best life in the world as long as she get her five minutes. 
<laughs> long as she get her 10 minutes of fame with, with your dude. Y'all work at the same job. You get guess when uh guess when he cracked her. <laughs> at your job, but it happened when he dropped you off and you walked in there, and she was probably walking out. Cause I'm telling y'all now, to all the females out there and all the dudes out there, bro, if you single, no female wants you. But if you got you a girl, bro, and you treating her right up in public, dropping her off at work, mm -hmm, give me a kiss, baby, I see you later, type. Flowers when you pick her up and her coworkers see it not, no, they won't chew, bro. I'm telling you, females love, a, <laughs> they love a dude that take care of their girl for some reason. I promise you, and they kids too. Don't forget about the kids. Nigga. No, love you, right. baby. She's got some explaining to do when she gets no. home. So sure apparently, hope he didn't find out about yeah, it. Yeah, her husband's out looking for her right now, according to her. So, oh, it's probably awkward for you coming to pick up your daughter who's yeah. down here in a park with another man other than her husband. So I don't know how you feel about that, but. You know your daughter a thought. I thought it was the other way around. It probably is the other way around. Man, they both cheating. I, I don't like it. What is your concern right now? Mine? Yes. That I'm going to be divorced and that I shouldn't probably ever drink again while I'm driving. Right. Or ever again. Yeah. Period. period. Or coming to the park with right. men. Yeah. So with the man, they go. Is going to go to jail. He's got a warrant and uh, he provided some false information, I'm sure. He says, yeah, is it okay? I'm 13. And he says, I'm fine with it. She's in place over there sitting on the bench. Post we it. have our arrest team uh, parked nearby. Blue jeans, white shirt, uh, Asian male. What are you doing, trying to pick her up? What are you here for, sir? Huh? What are you here for? I'm just uh, driving around. OK, for what? How you just driving around, but you parked at the park, going to jail? Nothing. Okay. He's got, He's got the map showing directions to here. Good. Do you recognize this fellow here? Yeah. Who is it? Looks like me. It is you. Okay, why don't you go and step out of the car? What happened? That's definitely him. He gets out of the car real quick and starts walking towards you. Probably got within. I'm saying at least 15 feet of you. Then he's, he's doing this. I'm like looking around. Oh. All of a sudden, I don't know if he's realized you weren't the person or whatever. Then he started walking back. Then he's doing the old felony stretch. You know, doing this stuff, looking around. He admits that. Uh, they call that the felony stretch. Okay. I learned something new today. Because I did that a grip of times when I was guilty. And I seen a grip of fools that was guilty do that a grip of times, bro. It's called the felony stretch. The felony stretch. He was probably going to have sex with her. All right. So you brought those kind of and the possibility that you might. The call of a that was a minor possible burglary in progress. Did he go into his apartment or he went back to this part? Last word we have is he went in his okay. own apartment. He went back into his own apartment. All right. Occupant 113, Rialto PD, come out now. Let's go. Oh. I was just trying to break the window. I was just trying to open this so I could get a plate home. <laughs> this is the window that. Uh, you do not play with no Play-Doh, bro. What the hell? I was just trying to break the window. I was just trying to open this so I could get a Play-Doh. This is the window that uh, the witness saw him. Bro, you look like you a whole gangbanger out here. Why? That's what I'm saying. When y'all, look, look, I promise you. And I think like 95% of the people don't do this. Everybody, when they think about doing a the crime, they do the crime, right? They think about what they're going to do and get away. From now on, when y'all think about the crime, right? Y'all think, bro, I'm finna be up, bro. I'm finna be on after I get this. I'm finna, whoa, whoa, whoa. When y'all think about that part, then think about what'll happen if you get caught. Or what excuse you gonna use. Because I broke in the house to get Play-Doh. It's, <laughs> bro, you could have came, even off the top of your head, you could have came up with a better excuse than that. That's what I'm saying. Y'all and dumb as criminals, for real. Real for real. Breaking into. Before this guy moved out, his kids would borrow some of the Arkin's toys. And I helped him move out. Okay, but why not go to the manager and ask the manager and say, hey, can you come over here open this You lying, bro. Stuff I, like didn't, that. I didn't think about that. And you crying. You could have just opened the door. Just <laughs> this somebody homie from somebody hood right now crying. Because he lying about stealing some Play-Doh. And my neighbors, our kids used to play together, so I'm coming. It's not that serious, bro. I don't know. No grown man. If my son left my toy over your over your house with, 
and he was playing with your son, bro, I get it when I get it. If I never get it, okay, it's just a toy. But I promise you, I don't care if it's the best Iron Man action figure in the world. I'm not breaking in no room to steal my son's toy back. Ha! <laughs> God, it's not that serious. Let alone some Play-Doh. You get a whole tub of that for $2 at Walmart, bro. Play-Doh. You lying. Just let us in. We could have dealt with this man. And if you're telling man, the truth, you're sad. We didn't have to go through all this stuff. We got tattoos in his Don't head. Don't you think that was unnecessary? Crying and still yeah, that's why you do it like that. Catch up to a from like West a Virginia. Bed. Undercover officer just saw him buy drugs. Front passenger, well, he ditched some stuff on the floor. This is what he was ditching. He was. Hey! You've been arrested before? Yes. Of course he has. Up here? Y'all didn't even see her face, bro. That right there is the outcome of that meth. You know what I'm saying? When they hit that sh, all they do is pick at their face. Pick at their face. They don't even be nothing there, bro. They pick up the, and then they come out looking like that, bro. Just sores everywhere. I promise you. Her life is going down the drain and she won't fix it. And, and, never mind. Four? She, she has. She's, how many times? Today here? she hit us. I think at least three. We you know this time you got seven bags of heroin. Your fourth time being arrested in front of the same judge. I've had four or seven bag. bags of heroin. Four. Hold up, I gotta take this call. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hi, my name is Johnny and I am from American Benefits. How are you doing, sir? Who are you looking for? Well, I will not take much of to let you know about the new 2021 state of Nah, nah, nah. Hey, get me out of here. Give me, hey, hey, hey. Take my number out of y'all system, bro. I don't know why they be giving y'all my number and shit. Take my number out of y'all system. Okay, so I will. Um, ain't no American benefits around here, nigga. I got my own shit. Where are those bags are mine? I'm on the Suboxone medication. You didn't find nothing on me. I didn't have You had a loaded needle right up in front of you and a stamp bag of heroin on the floor in front of you. Ah! You know, it's not yeah, like you came up here to not shoot dope. You came up here to shoot dope. You're lying. I know. I, I so the Suboxone isn't really helping you all that much. Is that your handwriting? Those are directions to a methadone clinic. <laughs> he really looking, trying to see if that's his head right. Knowing that show, he said that's the felony stretch. That's the felony look right there, because he know that he is. Look how he gazing at this. <laughs> and he not really looking at the right, and he looking like that. Like, I can't believe I got caught. I promise you, bro. Look at it. all that much. Is that your handwriting? Those are directions to a method <laughs> That's my writing. That's your writing? Yes, sir. So obviously, at some point, you were going to go to a clinic. Why didn't you follow these directions? At least he tried. You wrote these directions down, then you folded them up, you threw them in the back seat of the car, and you drove here to... Officer, officer, whatever your name is, bro, you must say never been addicted to something before. You know what I'm saying? I take my hat off to this dude right here because even though he was on that, you know what? That paper he got right now is not a paper he picked up on the street. He walking uh, down the street, see a, what, a stop sign? Y'all know how on the light post, they be having all these little brochures. Go ahead and take this if you need help to get clean. It wasn't no printing out nothing, bro. He got a blank piece of paper, wrote down a direction with his handwriting, as you see right here, and tried to go. But when you addicted to something, your temptation overcomes what's what's right sometimes, all the time to be 100. Don't try to get on him for that, officer. I, I would have let him go. If this was GTA, I'd be playing the police on there sometimes. I would let him go. Right? Goodbye, Harold. You know you're going to jail today, right? Yeah. All right. Do you know who? Do you know who sent you to jail? Tell me who sent you to jail. You. Why are you going to jail today? Who? Bro, stop trying to lecture him just because you on camera. I... Police officer know that camera is less than a foot away from him. Who put you in jail? Why did you go to jail? He want old boy to say me. And he know he going to say me because he spooked right now. He know himself he's a drug addict. He going to go to jail. He going to try to say anything try to lessen up or lighten up the sentence. But I tell you all, all the time, bro. Don't even trip on these police officers. They only there to take you to jail, bro. They can't get you more time or less time. Shut up when they talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to be like the statements don't make none of those. They ain't got nothing. Just, just zip it. For real, bro. A route to a uh, burglary of a vehicle call. 
at a uh, local shopping center. He's uh, running westbound from the uh, shopping center. I'll be in foot pursuit. Oni! What did I do? Put your hands behind your back! Uh, Put your hands behind your back! Okay, what did I do? Hey, you better comply, bro. Catch my hands in, that's all I'm doing. Okay. There's some ladies over there that said that you were breaking into their car. Oh. So why don't you tell me what happened then? I was looking. Okay, what... what <laughs> nah, I wasn't breaking in, I was looking. A car full of... That's all it was. Okay, okay. were you looking to steal something from in there? No, well, no, I can't go there. No. Okay, well, why did you run? Huh? Why did you run from me? you seen 15 cops? Huh? Guilty. Not for another that, huh? Run. Did you run because Guilty. you were going into that car? No, I didn't, I didn't want to go to jail. No? I didn't want to go to jail. That's what would point. you go to jail for if you hadn't do anything? Well, when I came out of the um, thrift store, this gentleman shouted at me, it was at your car, and I said, yes. And he said, um, some guy who looked like he was homeless took some items out of the car. Sure enough, uh, there they are. Okay, good. He threw it in there with all them cans. All right. He'll be under arrest for auto burglary. Okay. Go ahead and have a seat in here. I'm, I'm glad to have a seat. If you were just looking, how did her items get in your car just by looking? Get your pink shirt. All right. Watch your head, okay? I got a head. I can watch it. All right. Where are you going? What's up, man? Stand in front of the car, please. Stand in front of the car, please. Keep your hands out of your pockets. How oh you doing tonight? What's your name? Gary. Where do you live? Nowhere right now. Bro, how old are you? How old am I? I'm telling y'all right now. He's going to jail. That's Vegas PD, bro. It ain't no way you're going to interact with them and not go to jail. I promise. <laughs> Trust me, I know. He <laughs> going to jail for walking uh, 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 at a slow speed. Or he finna go to jail for wearing a white shirt. He finna go to jail just because it's Tuesday. He finna go to jail because his hair is longer on the left than it is on the right, bro. You finna go to jail because you ain't got enough tattoos. You finna go to jail because you got too many tattoos. Vegas people. <laughs> yeah. What's your date of birth? 57. That wouldn't make you 50. Yeah, I'm 50. 51, uh, as a matter of fact. Okay. okay. What? I'm going to be straight up with your son. Okay. okay. This is Don't my wallet hold on. here. And this Don't. wallet I just found at the bus stop. Keep your hand <laughs> your pocket. This is mine here. Tell it right now. All my life, I always thought karma as a myth. In the last five years, I really believe in it strongly, man. You do good good things to people, and good things happen, man. I really believe in it. Yeah. But there was but no cash that. in it, huh? I didn't find it. It was about $14. In it. That's would it? Like, would you like me to return it? Well, I think it would probably be best. Yes. I figured the guy would probably give that to me anyway right. when I return it. You're going to give him his wallet back, but... You're just going to charge him like a $14 service fee? <laughs> no. What? I hear you, man. No, I hear you. Hey, how you doing, man? Nice to meet you. Um, hey, uh, when you were uh, at the bar, did you um, did you have any idea who... This ain't the real Vegas PD, bro. Why he didn't sock him yet? I, I, he was all laughing and joking. Wait, wait, wait. may have pickpocketed you. Here's the good news, man. The good news is you're only 49. Here this whole time, you thought you were 50. Oh, he went to jail for something. Oh, we're so. checking this. Uh, Bad news he is he going to jail. Here. Local motel. We gonna end it right there, bro. I'm gonna pick off on that next time. I got some things to do. Um, yeah, bro. Patreon, y'all get over there if y'all want to go there. Whatever, get over there. If not, then don't. I'm gonna still be uploading over here regularly. Um, till next time, man. I love y'all. Rest in peace, King Nipsey, DJ Ghost 100.